Hi, welcome back to the cabin. It's Ian from Off Grid with Penny Glen Cabin Life. I don't know if you can hear the airplane above us. Um, good morning to every everybody. Thank you, Kat. I spilled my drink all over me. Uh, good morning to everybody. Um, it's very dark clouds up in the sky and it's very cloudy here this morning. So I don't know if we're going to get any rain. Uh, the times are bright and early. It's quarter past seven in the morning. Uh, today I'm hoping to put some guttering up on the front of the, well, the back end of these kennels here and then I'm hoping to empty the coal out of the bunkers and then move them across. Nudging. Panda, no, it's Pat I think, isn't it? They're nudging, keeps nudging me and my drink's going all over. So I'm hoping to put the um, coal bunkers over there in front but I want to do the guttering first so I want to do that today. And then this kitchen area, is, I'm going to move right back and then I'm going to make a start in the next few days of putting the boards on the front for the patio bit on the front. Uh, so that's about that for, for the news. Um, today I want to talk about getting your supplies in for winter, especially if you live off grid. And those of you who've lived off grid for a long time, you'll know that now's the time of year to get your supplies in. Um, if it's your first time off grid, then I would advise you get everything in, start getting it in now before the weather starts changing. So obviously I recommend that you get your wood. So if you've not uh, got the facility to cut your own wood from your own woodland, then get in touch with the uh, coal merchants and also the timber merchants and everything and get yourself all your wood in, get your logs in, get your coal in, get everything ready for winter. So these are my log stores. So I've got all the timber in there and then I've got a few compartments and that's an empty compartment there that I'm going to get some more timber for and that one there. And then this is a compartment that goes all the way back into there and it's full of cardboard, which I always use to get the fires going. And then I've got a lot of timber logs there, which were the offcuts. Uh, of timber that I couldn't split with axe so I saved them for an I have an open fire and they're the two propane gas bottles I actually have another two as well and they're the buckets of ash that's a bit to kindle and they're all the extra coal sacks as well um, if you live remote and you're lucky enough to get delivery with food like off Asda or Morrison's or anything like that start to get your supplies in so for instance if you get a delivery then even if it's a case of ordering six tins of new potatoes and tins of carrots and things like that and peas and tins of meat and stuff like that get everything you can in now this year uh, i was hoping to start growing my vegetables but i didn't get around to doing it this year i'm determined to do it next year so if you like me were you um don't grow your own veg then obviously you need to get your own supplies in so so that's about that uh, get eggs in they're important to have in get your bacon in and things like that try and get some meat if you've got a freezer then obviously get frozen food in as well try and get everything now at the moment it's not wise to get like sacks of potatoes yet or uh, big bags of carrots and things like that Simply cut because even though it's starting to get cooler a bit now on uh, on an evening, then it's not really cold enough where they where vegetables would last really. So give that a couple of months from now. You can get a sack of tea and that'll last you through quite a long time through winter. But if you get it now, it's not going to last. Uh, if you've any livestock, get your supplies in. I've got a big supply of dog food in, obviously, because I have dogs. Now in this area, we're being remote, if the snow comes down, I'm totally cut off. So it would have been about, oh, it was when, well, when the wife was here, so she's been gone about five years now. So it would probably be about seven years ago, eight years ago, uh, this area had freak snow. And um, we were snowed in for two weeks and we never saw a car, a tractor, nothing. All, we found out afterwards all the local farmers with the big John Deere tractors even got stuck in the fields with the tractors. So I, I've always tried to be prepared now after that because like thing with other, other, us is 
then you've got to melt if you need water and the pump packs in for any reason then you're melting snow so we were lucky that way I suppose that we could well uh, melt snow but like I say just try your best to get everything in so and also toiletries get them in, in just literally buy everything in bulk that you would normally buy to just live on a normal week get the supplies in get your coffee in yeah, I knew that would make you laugh. Get your coffee in, get your tea in, get your... I always buy, um, because I'm remote and it's harder for me to get supplies, I always buy that UHD whole milk. You can buy the cartons from the supermarkets and that, so I, I tend to get that in. I've got a good supply of that in. So I'm due an the delivery today, so they're due uh, this evening between 7 and 9. So I've got a pretty biggish order in, so like I say... As the orders go in now every few weeks for Asda to come and deliver, I'll start adding to that order ready for winter. I've got enough coal in. I've mentioned coal. I've got lots of coal in. In my log stores around the side, I've got a lot of coal as well. Um, so, so I'm going to start cutting some more timber next few days uh, in between doing the jobs. I'm starting feeling a bit better in myself. Uh, I've mentioned before on the channel that I've been having stomach problems. That's why I've not been uploading as many videos. But um, last couple of days it's starting to ease off. And this morning I'm feeling uh, a lot better in myself to be honest. So so yeah, so, so I am. I'm feeling a lot better in myself. My mood seems to be picking up a bit. So I apologise for all those who uh, like to watch my videos and I've not been able to put any up so I'm sorry for that now I'm going to get off and uh, I'm going to crack on with the dogs and then we'll start getting this guttering up and stuff like that so I will catch you all later now I just want to say thank you to all the subscribers and I want to say thank you to all the VIP members as well for all your kind support if anybody's interested in joining the VIP members section then the details are below in the description and there's a link straight. If you press on the link, it'll take you into the page where you can learn more. Okay, well, thank you very much for coming down to the cabin and seeing me. And I'll see you all soon. Stay safe, stay well. And remember, don't ever forget, dinky-doo. Stay safe, stay well.